All right, now we're going to look at averaging, flattening, and all other things. So here, uh, the main tools that I use all the time are these right here. I use paint a lot. I use visibility a lot. But really here is a very nice combination. All right, these are things that you have to kind of be wary of. If I right click and say play from here, I can go into the cave. Doop, boom, boom, I'm into the cave. Don't forget there is colliding meshes here that you can't see. So if I go like this, look at, I'm having a hard time getting out of the cave without jumping. And then once out of the cave, I have to know the exact path to get out of here or I'm not getting out of there. Let's say if I'm a complete noob at this, I'm just going to go in here and say, well, you know, there's got to be a way out of here somewhere. And I'm going to be jumping a lot. But, yeah, it shouldn't be that way. Not unless you intended it to be. That's where tools like average comes in. So there's average, smooth, noise. What I like to do is add some chaotic noise to the situation at first. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now, looks can be deceiving. Then what I do is grab average. Look for the path into the cave. And let's hold control and just, you know, if people were going in and out of that cave a lot, it would stand to reason that there would be kind of a path to it. And it would probably be a pretty obvious path. So what I do is I go like this, kind of go average, and then again, you know, I can add noise over on this area. I could add rocks over there if I wanted to, whatever. But I wouldn't want to keep it the way it is right now. There we go. All right, right click, play from here. Let's see how easy it would be to get into the cave. Getting into the cave is pretty easy. Still got to work on that little step right there. So, average. And that might be a little down even. So I'm going to go down. Play from here. OK. Into the cave, good. Out of the cave, ooh. Up a little higher. A little bit of average. Now you see what exactly is entailed here. Uh, there's a lot, of, lot to the tweaking of this, to the blending, to get it to work out quite well. But our end goal is to get in and out of the cave without too much distractions or problems. You can also try to crawl into the cave. That helps sometimes. Okay, so now you can see where you're at. And what it all comes down to is I might have to move my cave a little forward to get the blend absolutely perfect. And make smaller brushes. I would say a smaller brush would help. And you can see you can micro manage these little tiny vertices. All right, so let's just concentrate on the bigger picture, and I can do that off camera. Uh, let's go back to the thing, play from here. And I, what I want to do is reach that summit without a lot of jumping. Cool. Okay, right in here, I just got to fix up some stuff. But the summit part, that's fixed because of average. Ooh, that looks like a good transition, sort of. Now, 
There's also flatten. That's good for summits. I think that's as close as I'm going to get, and I, I want to make it sure it doesn't have a good, a really bad seam. But I can always put a deco there too. There we go. All right, perfect. Good, going into the cave. Good, coming back out of the cave. A little bit of a twist there, but not much. Nothing to be so annoying. And then I'll have to just kind of work with the rocks here. But all in all, pretty happy with the effect. Need a rock there to, or I could leave that rock out so you can see inside the cave. But always study from all angles, make sure everything's buttoned up tight. Make sure you're not falling through things. You know how those annoying video games are that, you know, you, you're just walking along and all of a sudden you're dead or falling or something like that. You don't want that to occur. So play test your level well. This looks a little odd. Like, how pointy is that rock anyway? All right. So that is averaging and those tools. Enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.